If your engineer is not returning your phone calls, it's probably why. All right, bro. Sounds good, man. Just bounce it. Send it to me. I'm ready to drop this song, bro. Well, yeah, I can send it, bro, but you should definitely have me, like, mix and master it. It's, it's got nothing on it, really. It's just raw. Nah, bro, nah, trust. It sounds amazing the way it is, bro. Just send that thing to me. Okay, so this is nothing new. A lot of new artists and not-so-serious artists all fall victim to this right here. Now, this happens as a result of one of two reasons, really. The first being that the artist doesn't have a whole lot of money to pay for a professional mix and master. Not for nothing, I was one of those artists that didn't really have the money to pay for it, so I learned how to do it myself. It took some time, but I learned how to do it. If you don't want to learn how to do it yourself, then I suggest waiting until you have the funds to pay for something like this because you don't want to put out garbage. Now, the other reason what we like to call in the profession demo love, meaning you've heard this version of the track for so long that when the mixed version actually happens, you don't like it. You've gotten really accustomed to how it sounded raw from the studio and you think that's the way it's supposed to sound, which drives us as engineers in the profession up the freaking wall. Now, here's where the problem comes into play. When you go to post up that song, you write your credits and you tag us as engineers in that unfinished product. What that does inadvertently is tell everybody else that this engineer has no idea what he's doing because he let this piece of shit leave his studio. I had a client that used to do this. They used to put up the raw songs and I would tell them all the time, this song ain't finished. You gotta come back to get it mixed and mastered. It got to the point where I just started tagging the mixes. You know, like YouTube two producers do. They put their tag on the front and all throughout the song just to show that you didn't pay for this. Yes, in today's landscape, there is a market for unpolished music, but those people are doing it intentionally and it feeds into their brand. If you don't have that mission in your brand, I suggest you pay for it or learn how to do it yourself because you making a lot of us look bad when you do bullshit like that. That's it. That's all. Tap in with me. You know I tap back. Peace.